all right hi aquarius welcome to angie blog i'm definitely gonna do this a little bit fast because there's a uh, rainstorm that is coming look at that just when i'm about to do your reading and yes we're doing a little bit different your shadow work in the park because i've been divinely guided for certain specific signs today to do them in the park meaning you gotta do some uh, healing in the park my friend gotta be in the car park gotta be grounding yourself gotta do some meditation 20 minutes praying you know talking to your ancestors hugging a tree if you have to aquarius okay but definitely i'm feeling that energy that you know it's it's time to if you can be in the park uh be in the water if you can you know what i'm saying uh definitely protecting your energy okay yeah there's some contract or something that has been um uh, broken something that has been um literally taken out yeah interesting energy aquarius i put this so i can make more space yeah the contract is uh, an attachment someone trying to do a bonding spell or trying to keep you trapped in there with a contract or something could be a job could be a person could be anything honestly but i feel like something has been uh broken or canceled it could be a divorce yeah the guarding of the gate it could be has similar energy to virgo i definitely recommend to check her reading okay her or him i don't know why i said her <laughs> The garden and the gate. You literally hold the key. So you, this person has the key right here. All you have to do is walk in there. But I feel like there's fear here. There's like you're scared of your own power. You're scared of your own gifts or your talents. Don't be afraid. Fear is not of God, man. That's the devil putting shit in your head. Yeah, see, it's blocking your your journey. Don't do that. I'm hearing someone's trying to block your journey. Yeah, they're trying to put stuff in your head. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. But be patient. Things are going to be revealed to you, okay? Now, you have somebody holding the coin, a man holding the coin. This could be you or this could be someone around you. Uh, there's an opportunity. There's pentacles here, something tangible, uh, long-term here. Yeah, it's something about your confidence that it bothers a lot of people. The third chakra, King of Shamuel. Yeah, the solar plexus. Make sure you're healing that. Uh, C-train could be helpful, you know. Have C-train. Aquarius, okay? definitely meditate uh you know around wear yellow i'm hearing also yeah that your your third chakra is open i feel like our um archangel gabriel has been working on that on the fifth uh, chakra definitely you could be someone who works in communication content creator social media platform something to do with media okay yeah you definitely have someone here the thinking woman in reverse you have someone who doesn't think they just act and do things without thinking, okay? Yeah, there's something about your foundation. They, they're envious and jealous of this. Yeah, Archangel Michael is here. Literally, you just have to ask. It's like you feel it. You know who these people are who are trying to block your foundation. Your This is the root, right? Yeah, something about your foundation, your ancestral, your... Could be sacral chakra as well. Something about your wound. Yeah. They're doing witchcraft on you. The magician in the mirror. Yeah, you're somebody very healing. Could be a master ma manifester over here. Yeah, again, well, it's your chakras. They're trying to affect your chakras. It's like they're jealous and envious of, yeah, hostility, see? Yeah, somebody very hostile, very mad that you're healing, you're working on yourself, that you're putting yourself out there. Yeah, the second chakra is sacral, yeah. But you have our archangels like literally protecting it yeah it's something about your your stability it could be trying to block that they're seeing you they're jealous about some if you're with a partner or someone yeah they're jealous of that somebody who literally balances your yin and yang that's for some of you others of you if you're not in a relationship that is only taking but you're not really getting anything time to reconsider that because you literally are someone like an earth angel holding their heart and there's somebody who actually is going to give you that reciprocity men holding their heart and women holding their heart i feel like there's two people who yeah you bring a lot of stability there's a lot of money and abundance here and love yeah protect your energy aquarius okay because definitely i'm feeling uh karmics around 
your relationship if you're not in a relationship yet i feel like they're trying to yeah the four of cups this is somebody who you rejected in the past the eight of swords they're like in a spiritual jail right now or this could be you having some anxiety and stuff like that for this rejection or someone rejecting you or something like that take it how resonant leave the rest okay use the sermon gonna rain soon if you hear a lot of i'm in a parking lot <laughs> yeah i came to pray and meditate here that could be some of you yeah you're you're gonna you're really happy i don't understand yeah you're someone ha yeah i'm hearing your your light uh irritate someone's demons here continue doing you fuck these people could be dealing with a leo okay yeah there's a lot of happiness you're you're in your inner child you're healing you're working on yourself honestly the shadow work that you need to do is literally protect your energy Whatever that you're doing, just continue doing it. Yeah, the Six of Cups here in reverse. Some of you are not. That's your inner shadow, shadow work. Heal your inner childhood wounds, okay? Because I feel like that's something that is attracting this type of people who are low vibration, people who are all, like, it just keeps you stuck in the past, okay? Yeah, this is the people who are trying to cause you anxiety and keep you mentally trapped in your head, yeah okay let me give you an example yeah you need to heal this okay you need to heal this because the angel of the ocean this is um temperance this is happiness this is joy this is balance this is stability you're an earth angel we saw it in the energy yeah okay so let me give you an example so for example you're surrounded by certain people okay and all of a sudden you're somebody who probably has anxiety right or you know or perhaps you don't you know but if you do if you usually suffer from anxiety let's say you're surrounded by certain specific people okay and all of a sudden your anxiety start acting up okay or maybe you hang out with certain people and then you left them and then all of a sudden you feel anxious you don't feel good you feel that that's the person either they're trying to send you evil eye negative energy or they're trying to like you know cause uh, anxiety towards you they are sending you negative energy they don't like you they pretend they do though so be careful with that okay um let's say also some people could trigger you uh your anxiety definitely that's that's literally your body responding to somebody who you shouldn't be around don't take it personal okay it's just your body's like yo don't be around this person don't be around. like they're warning you there's something that this person is doing to your energy to you to your family your finances whatever that your body is trying to protect you listen to that intuition the body also have its own intuition but you definitely need to be nurturing your intuition right now how do you do that by healing your inner childhood wounds by doing the shadow work inner work it just comes naturally okay yeah you're in the ten of cups energy wow beautiful completion ultimate happiness you could be having a happy family you could having uh, a lot of happiness i'm seeing like a lot of happiness but yeah these people the start in the reverse like some someone wishful um you see the hope like they were hoping that this didn't happen to you that they they wanted to cause some some uh, yeah you're moving away from this energy you know who this is the chariot the movement this could be a cancer this could be a pisces scorpio cancer the sun leo and another aquarius but in a low vibration okay Yeah, the four of wands in reverse it's like you're moving away from anybody like yeah you're moving away from an arc someone who is a fake ass energy who gives you a false hope or something like that they give you um they they're, they're not growing these people don't grow and they hate people who are in that growth energy yeah their people are stuck they're they're stuck in their own mentality in their own ways uh yeah this feels like a narcissistic abuser here could be a female or a male take it how it resonates yeah someone who's not loyal see loyalty here is just funny the knight of pentacles in reverse yeah there's someone here that it's just trying to do the worst because like they can't stand you they can't stand that you're happy they can't stand that you are in your ten of cups yeah the nine of cups here and that wow and they're trying to block any communication or people talking to you your friends they hate that you have good friends like they're trying to create conflict with your with friendships here with your love life or with somebody who was very passionate towards you uh anybody who wants to give you some type of yeah this what the fuck yeah somebody who's an emotionally unstable 
not understanding the king of cups in reverse they much i can't make this up yeah this is black magic this is witchcraft There's a reason why these specific signs, I got to do them in the park. Meditation protects your aura. Meditation protects you from negative energy, from dark witchcraft. If you do 20 minutes a day, you definitely need to be doing this, okay, Aquarius? You do have someone who put a spell. There's a witchcraft spell here. Again, you're an earth angel. If you're an earth angel, all you have to say is, send back to sender, 110 times full, and so it is. You just have to speak it. You have similar energy to Pisces and Virgo. It's very similar energy but completely different scenarios, but you definitely have someone doing witchcraft. Go see those readings. I also put some advice, some things over on that reading could be helpful for you. Yeah, the lover's card in reverse. Someone you blocked. Yeah, somebody who tried to keep you stuck, it's not working, okay? Everything has been reversed. I'm just showing you here. But literally all you have to say is that and speak it to existence and it, it's, it backfires, see? Anything that they trying to cost you um trying to break your break your boundaries your your it's something about your aura like you're very protected but they they can try oh yeah they're tried yeah they're tried the ten of pentacles here in reverse the three of swords yeah they're trying to attack your heart that's how they do it that's how these people do it because that's where the 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 heart it's where you are able to manifest if you have a heal heart if you have good high vibration to stick to the high vibration i'm telling you but if you're in a low vibration, if you're heartbroken and you're overthinking this and anxiety and depression and stuff like that, that's how it, that's how they get it. That's how they try to block your finances, your love life, trying to create conflict in your in your partnership if you're with somebody. Like let's say all of a sudden if you are without your partner and all of a sudden you start fighting out of nowhere for nothing for things like insignificant and you're like we're well, wondering what's going on, why are we doing this? It's witchcraft. It's somebody doing that. Okay yeah you have the lover's card in reverse or maybe this could be an ex or someone like very vindictive that maybe you move on from them or you're no longer with them someone that you block someone like yeah somebody very player energy very indecisive could be honestly having a financial curse they're heartbroken but yeah you're protected from this energy the seven of wands here yeah, you're standing your ground with this person. Whoever this is, good job. Continue doing that, okay? Don't let this person, whoever it is, it could be a bully or something like that, bullying, gaslighting you and stuff like that. Don't let them, okay? Continue standing your ground. But I also see that you're you're protected, okay? Your finances, your love life, your family, everything is protected, okay? Just continue praying, okay? It's important. Meditating. Even on the, on the, even on the good times. Even on the good times, keep praying. Keep meditating, okay? It literally protects you. There's a new beginning here. New communication. Yeah, you're going to have a new job. Two of pentacles here. Yeah. You have an empress energy and uh, low vibration trying to send um, stress and, and stress you out and stuff like that. Uh, trying to send conflict. I'm hearing conflict magic. Wow, crazy. What the fuck? But yeah, it's because there's an opportunity or something is going to be revealed to you. A communication, travel, something. Don't tell people. I'm hearing, don't tell people your travel plans, okay? If you're traveling, if you're going somewhere, don't put it on social media. Don't post it. Post it after you come back from the travel, okay? This person is trying to cause uh, problems in your travel plans, okay? And also your money situations. Two of Pentacles, a decision. You made a decision that you're going to move away or something like that. Don't tell people your business, your private life. Okay, there's somebody very vindictive. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles is trying to block this opportunity for you. Let's say you get a job somewhere else. Let's say. Let's say you're, 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 there's a new job, that a new opportunity that everybody wants, right? But you get, it to, you get to travel, you get your travel paid, you get everything paid, okay? May, I'm hearing your passport. Make sure your passport is uh, ready to go, okay? Make sure you're ready because there's a new opportunity here. Especially if you've been doing the shadow work, you're a good person, you're doing the hard work, you're doing the what you got to do. There's a new opportunity here, but somebody's trying to block it. The Ace of Pentacles, a proposal or something like that. There's an Empress energy in reverse, some fake ass energy. Again, a Queen of Swords. It could be an narcissistic abuser here. Ten of Wands. They're trying to create block. Is They're a burden. You just know who that is. Your, your spirit's letting you know right now. Yeah, Four of Swords. Yeah, they've been told to give it a rest. 
to give it a rest to stop so if you see something someone happening things happening to them they've been warned already that they have to stop it's backfire by, by the way you're you're still getting your abundance you're still getting this opportunity just don't tell don't talk about it okay your good fortune don't tell people especially this person is if you don't know who it is but your intuition is letting you know literally listen to your body whenever you feel like if you want to say something and your body's telling you like no that's the person you shouldn't be telling it listen to your intuition i'm telling you right now you need to heal and rest go into some type of recovery or something like that yeah the strength card is here yeah you probably feel extra tired lately or stuff like that is witchcraft that has been backfired but there's still the reminiscence on you that's why i'm telling you go into nature go into the water i'm hearing if you go inside the water or you pass through a bridge or something of water being around water or nature it literally it back it goes back okay it, it cleanses you it helps you cleanse okay because that, that's a good detox for you okay aquarius yeah you need to build us your strength okay because this person they did too much Right now, you're building your stability, right? You're building uh, your health. You're working on your health right now. Yeah, the Seven of Swords energy. If someone is very sneaky, liar, manipulator. Everything that they try to do, it backfire. I feel like they wanted you to lose this opportunity and stuff like that. It backfire. Yeah, you're still getting it. There you go. Tell the spirit. Yeah, there's some type of communication. Uh, somebody offering you something. It's a new opportunity for sure. And there's definitely involving travel, okay? So make sure your password and everything is it's, uh, it's good to go, okay? Yeah, it's something that you're doing for work that somebody is like mad or something. King of the Ocean is the Emperor, Two of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you reap what you sow. Three of Pentacles in reverse. This collaboration. Yeah, you see that. There you go. There's the devil there. Yeah, you've been guided and told to walk away from this emperor in reverse. This emperor here. Somebody who's lazy, who doesn't work. Very indecisive. They can't make up their mind. They could be juggling you and stuff like that. Like they're not focused potential to see seven of cup seven eight of eight of pentacles in the seven in reverse yeah this is someone very lazy they don't want to work the, the three of pentacles in reverse they don't want to work they want things to be given to them yeah this negative influencer here you're being guided to walk away from this go into hermit mode there's this seriously the hermit is literally contemplation like go within access within okay literally the secret story is going from rough water to calm waters okay i feel like i have a something on me <laughs> yeah you're being guided uh, could be a virgo uh you could be dealing with a virgo oh it's my hair it's a hair okay <laughs> yeah but whenever you have hair like that on you and stuff like that yeah you have uh, negative entities trying to attach to you okay make sure you're cleansing yourself yeah the seven of cups people trying to create illusions yeah i wish of cups nine of cups in reverse yeah someone's wish fulfillment it's not uh it's not gonna happen this illusion whatever they're trying to do to you go within i'm telling you you need to go within talk to god to show you who your enemies are okay yeah the six of wands here they're not successful yeah they're trying to block your love life there it is thank you spirit the ace of cups in reverse and this is six of wands yeah they're not successful whatever they're trying to do also make sure you you need to see the pisces reading because I advise something about a cup, like if you're partying with something, people, eating with people, there's someone that you shouldn't be drinking or partying or eating with. Like your body, your intuition is going to let you know. Don't eat their shit. If someone makes you food all of a sudden, like they're making you eat it, they're making you drink it, that's the person you shouldn't be doing that. Listen to your intuition, I'm telling you. There's witchcraft on this stuff. They're putting stuff on, on the food or something like that. Yeah, it's to block your creativity. See, the Queen of Wands in reverse is a fucking negative. So someone into witchcraft dark magic here. I, I don't like to see the Queen of Wands in reverse. Honestly, I don't. I, I really don't. See? Someone who holds secrets and moon, but the secrets have been revealed. Like your spirit, what I'm telling you right now, your spirit's letting you know, you know who it is. While you're watching this, you know exactly who it is. You know who it is. Mm -hmm protect yourself okay yeah see the page of wands in reverse somebody very mature very promiscuous a fucking liar okay 
Could be a whore. <coughs> yeah, they can't keep it in their pants. See, they're trying to block my throat. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. Send it back to Sandra 10 times full. Yeah. They want to keep you in regret and sad and stuff like that. Like, they don't want you to be happy. They're like, oh my gosh, such a, like super low vibration, okay? They're trying to keep you confused. This is one-sided situation. They're going through divine judgment. They don't want you to walk away from them. They don't want this de transformation. They don't want you to end things with them. See, the nine of swords. Somebody, yeah, they're causing you anxiety. <coughs> Surrender. Let this go. You gotta let this go. You gotta let someone go. Because they're blocking your blessings. <coughs> yeah, somebody you left in the cold. King of Pentacles, someone disloyal, a cheater, a con artist. <coughs> someone created a lot of drama. Someone who pretended to be your soulmate or something like that. King of Swords in reverse. Oh my God, what? Wow, Aquarius. Yeah, you have a lot of liars and manipulators here. Yeah, but it's a cycle. You need to end the cycle with these people. You have a lot of negative influencers and energies around you, Aquarius, okay? You gotta protect your energy. <clears throat> Use sage around your home. Crystals that I would recommend. Uh, amethyst, uh, black tourmaline, um, <clears throat> selenite. Use a lot of selenite if you're driving. Use selenite. Put selenite in your, in your car. Have it with you, okay? Let me see if I have it. I can help you. Recognize that it's a selenite, okay? Have some selenite with you, okay? But you definitely have negative energy trying to block your blessings, your love life, and stuff like that. You have a lot, okay? Make sure you use what I said. Just speak it into existence. You're an earth angel, a chosen, okay? You're literally just saying it. it's instant karma for those people. Yeah, it's time to, a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. Yeah, I feel like right now it's like, You've been giving a lot. <clears throat> or you haven't been giving enough. And I'm hearing, yeah, it's you. You have people, a lot of people taking from your energy. It's time to, it's time to, you know what I'm saying? It's that time for receiving for you, Aquarius, okay? Yeah, you have a lot of people... It's now people have to give to you now. This needs to be a balance here. Be bold and make the first move for some of y'all. Perhaps the first move is to move away from maybe breaking that cycle. Perhaps it's a family member that you know or some toxic ex friend that pretends to be like a family and stuff like that. Just make the first move to walk away. Cut that, break that cycle. Yeah, it's time to take action. Some of you, there's a new opportunity or something, or something, someone that you want to talk to or something like that. Go for it, okay? Do that shadow work or inner work. You're gonna see that confidence is gonna come to, to you, okay? Surrender, surrender you need to always be right. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. They will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationship, okay? We're not always right. Okay, so make sure that that's why it's important to listen to your intuition. Do that inner shadow work, uh, inner child who wounds, okay? Go, if you need to go to therapy, go to therapy, okay? If you're dealing with a lot of trauma and stuff like that, it's going to rain soon. Surrender to miracles. Absolutely. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubts that miracles can happen, okay? You got to believe and trust, okay? Surrender the habit of people pleasing. There it is. Stop doing that. Speak your needs and be tr true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. Absolutely. Make yourself happy first. Then other people. Okay? All right. Let's see. Blame. Hmm. Taking the blame from other people? Or are you blaming a lot of people for your things that you're not doing? Oof. That's a shadow work for you. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Let's see what they're trying to tell you. 
It is so easy to give away the power to transform your life. Certainly, there have been people along your path who have shaped you into who you are today, but you're solely responsible for your own happiness. The ego can be a very fragile thing, and if it comes under fire, the first instant is to blame an outside force. Victim consciousness weakens the connection that you have to your soul source. This mindset says, I don't have the power inside myself to break free because someone else's power is stronger. This is an illusion. When you believe that someone else is responsible for your problems, that belief is the problem. Personal responsibility can empower you to change your reality. Lasting transformation always begins on the inside and works its way out. There is a difference between a reason and an excuse. A reason is valid and unavoidable, an excuse is an attempt to shift the blame. Make sure you're taking responsibility and accountability for your own thing, okay? Journey of by Moonlight, believe in magic. Absolutely. This is beautiful. I feel like just like we're in nature, like you see how maybe go for a moon uh, walk or something like that, or there's like fairies and I don't know, it's just beautiful. It's like you need to believe in magic. There's more than the eye could see, okay? Especially when you're awakened. <laughs> Absolutely. So car meaning, magic is all around you. <clears throat> Spiritual dimension and mystical realms are only thought away. The veil is thin right now between you and the realm of the fairies, elves, angels, and spirit beings. It's indeed a magical universe and the key to opening the door to this realm is to trust. Even if you can't see, trust that you are being supported in mysterious and wondrous ways. Supporting you right now, Aquarius. Okay, because I am a mermaid. <laughs> All is not as it seems. Trust your intuition and those nudges from spirit. Believe, okay? You got to believe, especially in the higher realms. You got to believe that it's more than this, okay? Come to the edge, yeah. <laughs> literally, tell the spirit. <laughs> you're literally almost at the edge or something. There's something that you're overcoming that you're that you're literally there. You're almost there. 36. 36 could be significant. 333, 666 if you see it. Oh, it's gonna rain. Essential meaning, courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting risk. Facing the unknown is the only choice you really have right now if you want to progress. It's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take a risk that is not calculated. To feel the acceleration as you ready yourself for a leap of faith. Spirit is present, so let go of fear. Remember, fear is not of God. Fear is of the other side, okay? Be fearless. You can do this, Aquarius. You're called to express your true self. Listen to your heart and your soul, not your head. Come to the edge and discover that you can fly. You must step into the unfamiliar so that you may find your miracles. Absolutely. Relationship message. It's scary to be truly intimate with someone, to allow him, him or her to see all of you, especially the parts that you kept hidden and protected. Now is the time to take that risk and let yourself be seen, truly seen. It's important that you speak up, voice what you need, stay who you are, say what you hope for. This is not the time to play it safe, but to take a leap of faith. You will be glad you did. If you're seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step towards the gods and they will deliver what you truly desire. Yeah, seriously, just trust. See how she's almost at the edge, she's almost, you know, letting go, just surrender, you know? prosperity message if there was if there was a time for you to take a leap of faith into the unknown it is now this is the perfect moment to take a big risk the unknown is the only choice now and if you come to the edge you will discover treasure beyond your wildest dream allow your courage to lead you in spite of your fears you don't need to know the exact form of what you're going for the essence is much more powerful and spirit has a way of delivering an even better version of prosperity than you could imagine Take that step. The results will be amazing. Protection message. Fear is leading the way into places you don't need to go. Most of what you fear at the moment is an illusion stemming from an old belief that isn't even true. 
Now is the time for courage. You will not be lost at sea. You will not watch everyone else get what you want while you are left alone and unloved. All oh, the drama of it all. <laughs> False evidence appearing real is hovering over you. I'm gonna repeat it again. Fear is says, false evident appearing real is hovering over you. The more you dwell on fear, the more real it will become. Ask yourself, who in me is afraid? Love that part of you. Ask, is, is this true and real right now? The answer most likely is no. Give yourself a hug. It's okay to be scared. Courage must be summoned. In spite of your fear, even when you're not feeling confident, spirit will always catch you, okay? But you got to believe and trust, okay? And let go of that fear. That fear is not of God. Be fearless, Aquarius, okay? And that's what I have for you. I hope this helped you guys in your shadow work and inner work. Definitely, I'm going to go because it's going to be a heavy rainstorm, okay? <laughs> but make sure you listen to your intuition, okay? And believe and trust, okay? I'm sending you so much love. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.